hello everyone in this video we have to study about the layers so as you can see here in the layers we are going to study about the adding a layer dragging and pasting selections onto the layer dragging layers between files viewing hiding layers etc etc so we'll look at the layers concept here so i've taken this image and this is a photoshop file that is a psd file and for this image let me just show you how the layers are working go to windows and here you can see there's a option called as layers which is the shortcut is f7 click on this and you can see all the layers that are present in this uh, image so just let me just hide all the layers here so that you can have a look at it i mean whatever i've designed so what are the images there so originally assuming this is your black canvas so the very first layer we had a gray color and then we introduced a pattern in that gray color and then we again introduced one more pattern in that gray color and now there's a logo here which is for the Kendra Vidyalaya Sangathan and the logo of Kendra Vidyalayas and then we introduced some kind of swirls in the layer so this is you can see all every single work every work in the photoshop uh, that is separate so we can in create and introduce different kind of works in photoshop so this is presenting a shadow of an image so as you can see there's a text again question so i can show this text now this is a text again there's an image so this is a different set of image in this image as you can see the even the color of the shirt is also changed so there's a shadow here and then we introduced an image now again in this image we changed the color of the shirt so again this is is also possible in photoshop and then you can see there, there are various patterns that we can also include in this shirt so you can, there's a pattern this, that is included i can also remove that particular pattern from the image and now so you can see there are various uh, layers for even for the name of pgt computer science so there's so many layers that we have introduced here in this okay so i've just taken a jpeg image for this so assuming i just want to add something else onto this layer so this there are two files here one is a photoshop file that is a psd file in this psd file i can see all these layers but if i go to a jpeg file so this is actually a jpeg file that is jpeg so let me just close the file i'll go to file open and now here i've stored a jpeg file for this that is jpeg file i'll open this file and now you can see the flat image so in the flat image all these layers are actually merged okay now I can work with this image, I can add various things, various options, various things that is possible for this image. For example, I can just here you can see uh, which is about creating a new layer. In the layers option you can see creating a new layer, I can create a new new layer. Now on this new, new layer I can create new objects, I can work with anything on this layer. For example, I can go to this tool which is about the gradient tool. Now I can paint this entire image with some kind of gradient color. And this is actually uh, uh, working on that layer. So I can just hide it, this one, so that I can show that particular gradient. So let me show you something interesting here. Let me just uh, take a yellow and blue gradient here. So this is a yellow and blue gradient. And this is actually a layer. Now, you can even increase or decrease the opacity of this layer. So go to this option and now you can increase or decrease the opacity of a layer. Okay. I can increase the opacity, I can decrease the opacity according to the requirement that I want. So in the same way, uh, the, you can use these kind of options to make your image look great. Okay, I can make this layer go above this. Okay, so let me just change this layer. So this is the above layer. Now I can increase or decrease the opacity of this layer also. Okay, so this way you have options to increase the opacity of a layer you, you have options to give some kind of gradient color to the image so for example uh, this was your original image okay so this was your original image now to this original image as you can see there's no gradient available now i created a new layer for gradient i can show this layer and i can decrease the opacity of this layer so that some kind of gradient color is also there now this image is completely transformed because of the concept of layering now you can see there are two kinds of color here so above we are having a blue kind of shade and below we are having a yellow kind of shade so this way you can introduce the concept of layering within an image okay i can take various uh, other objects from any image also for example this is an image now in this image actually we have worked with different kinds of layers i can copy some layer let me just show you 
uh, a layer here we have a group of layers so this is some kind of group i can go to this click right click on this and now you can see you can even copy this layer so control plus c and you can copy this layer you can paste this layer onto your image okay so just show you with an example here i go to this image i increase the opacity as 100 percent now whatever group i have copied here this is the entire group control plus t that is the transform the image so i'll control plus t and then i can even change this option so you can see here uh, huge discount option i can change i can add a new object in terms of layer i can rotate that object according to the requirement so for example i've added this huge discount option here so click on this huge discount now you can see i can even change and work with different kinds of things in this layer also so there are different kinds of objects i can change their location i can change their positions and so on whatever is the requirement okay i can go to this image and uh, now here i can also paste that uh, group here and i can take it down to any position i like uh, you can place the objects some some objects above or below in your layer according to the requirement of your image okay so as you can see here uh, i've placed this object here somewhere here okay now this group also i can change the group and i can change the position of any pro anything in this group okay so i'll just select all the layers let me just change the size here somewhere here i can increase or decrease the size of the image I can increase or decrease the size of the layer also. So this is the layer. So just changing the width and the size of this heavy discount or huge discount image. And you can see here I can work with many objects, many things with the layer. Okay. So this is the power of layering in Photoshop. You can use various layers. You can introduce a new layer. You can add something. You can work with the layers so that you can, you know, introduce some new things with the image so i can show it anywhere in the image huge discount and let me just rotate it up so that it should look good okay accordingly you can just change the positions it is so easy work in photoshop you can create a new object and accordingly you can place the object anywhere in the image wherever you like okay so to add a layer you have to add a layer here or whenever you copy and paste something that is added in terms of layers okay so you can rotate the image rotate the selection as you can see you can drag and drag and drop the layer you can hide in layers so to hide a layer uh, just go to windows you can see all the layers that are available now in this case you can show any layer or you can hide any layer so according to the requirement you can show an image you can hide an image according to whatever is important for you okay so for example i can increase the opacity of the layer i can show any object in the layer i can hide the layers and then you have moving and copying the layers obviously you have already seen you can preserve the transparency of the image you can scale control plus t and then you can change the size and you can even duplicate the layers how can you duplicate you just want to duplicate this layer go to windows go to layers and for example i want to duplicate this layer right click on this and you can see this option which is duplicate layer so just click on this how many layers you want so let us say this one copy of this so you can duplicate any layer according to the requirement okay and then you have uh, deleting the layers and merging the layers so you can merge the layers you can delete the layers. so for example I want to delete this duplicate layer I'll go to this button and then I just click on delete the layer so you can delete the layers okay you can also merge various layers uh, if you save the image they are automatically merged but again you have options for example you just click on two layers here and just right click on this and now you can see here there is an option of merging the layers so you can merge two layers to make it as one single layer so you can merge these, these two layers also for example I just want to decrease the opacity of this image by let us say 90% and I want to merge these two layers right click on this and there is an option called as merge layer so uh, both these two layers are you know added as one single layer so this way you can uh, work with the layers in photoshop